Is this what optimism feels like? Uh, I, I guess. Well, pay off the refs in this. Shut the fuck up. No, no, you don't. You don't get to talk about the refs in this game. And you, and you fucking caniac. You remember game two? Shut the fuck up. You don't, you don't deserve to bitch. You don't deserve to bitch about refereeing and after you have you know, bail out your team that badly. You want to, you want to, you want to bitch about something? Bitch about your team's defense. Bitch about your team's power play. Wow. Oh, fucking God. Fucking computer just. I guess I'm. Guess my laptop didn't want me to do a smooth transition. Because it gave me the freaking thing of like, hey, here's here's some uh, here's some Windows 10 news or whatever the hell. Oh, that it doesn't that doesn't freaking that is just going to get in the way of you pausing and unpausing in your Zoom recording. Go. Go eat my ass. I don't know where my pick is. Damn it. Oh. You know what? Hold on. It 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 fixed itself. Give me one sec. Here I found something. It is time to hug it out because that is a five to two victory against the Carolina Hurricanes. Welcome back to Into the Den, everybody. I am your host, Jocelyn Freeman, and holy crap, what a win! In what a what a statement win in against a uh, wall down, very key contributors, and we're just. And we just we just beat a team that I mean, granted, my my prediction was incorrect. We didn't we didn't score eight goals in this one because and to keep the keep the joke of doubling every uh, everything in alive, uh, sadness uh, sadness and regret. But uh, but like that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter because we played so well. We did so well, and the. I guess let's start off with the big news. Uh, Charlie McAvoy was out for today. He was in COVID protocol. And as soon as the news broke, I was like, well, time to, uh, well, I'm prepared for us to go down 3 1. And I thought, great, we're down our absolute best defenseman. Even with Lindholm, uh, even if Lindholm was, health, uh, was healthy, McAvoy would still be our best defenseman. And, and so now we have to play Josh Brown. Um, and honestly, Josh Brown just makes me eh, honestly. Josh Brown really just exists to uh, to remind us that Jakob Zaboro tore his ACL uh, at the beginning of the season and didn't, uh, and therefore we don't have a better option other than him. Um, and uh, but what additionally made me uh, kind of uh, scared was Auntie Ranta was uh, has come back, and I know that Ranta isn't uh, isn't like a uh, and in a postseason in juggernaut. It's not like it's not like he's going to turn into freaking 2011 Tim Thomas or or like 2007 uh, 2007 Dominic Hasek uh, or some or something like that. It, it, like, yes, he's amazing. He's he's good. Dude, I didn't expect us to play as badly in front of him as we did in games one and two. Maybe it's our. Maybe it's the fact that it was in Carolina. Maybe it's the fact that, uh, you know, uh, maybe. 
I don't know. I don't know why we didn't play well in front of him um, on um, in games one and two. But also, happy Mother's Day, everyone. Happy Mother's Day. It was... I went home earlier today. I went home today to uh, from um, college because uh, because not just because it's Mother's Day, but also because it's like I we move out on the eleventh and just downsize downsizing so that I don't have to bring as much shit back on the eleventh. But uh, but like it was it was great to see uh, mom. If you uh, if you haven't already, uh, call your mother and tell them that uh, and tell her that you love her. Unless you have a really shitty, abusive mom, um, um, in which case you don't have to do that. You don't have to. Uh, I feel like it. Uh, I feel like it should be said that uh, that you don't have to. You don't necessarily have to uh, to reconcile with those that uh, with those that uh, harmed you really badly, but. That is a that is a conversation for a different uh, video. Oh, well, let's let's at least let's start with the uh, let's start at puck drop, uh, and it's uh, and we get another uh, we get pretty much a re uh, a repeat of the fir first game uh, of the first uh, uh, of the first one where we are we are turtling to start. Where it's uh, they're getting uh, a bunch of opportunities in our zone. Um, um, and we're just, it feels more so that we're like uh, conserving energy, uh, like we're eventually ready to, uh, to pull out uh, the trap card magic cylinder and, uh, and deal everything that they're doing, in dealing to us back to them and, um, and fuck them up uh, until Mike, Mike, uh, and Mike Riley back in the lineup just reminds us. Uh, is just there to remind us that the high sticking penalty exists because oh my god, keep your jab stick on the ice. He goes, uh, he goes uh, to the, uh, he goes to the bed, uh, he goes to the box, and not long after, DeBrusque almost gets a, uh, gets, uh, it's a nice, uh, uh, DeBrusque almost gets a nice, uh, like pushing goal where he, well. Uh, Oh, where he's like gliding across the crease and is and, and you can just push the puck in, but he doesn't get it. He's surrounded by three different defensemen and uh, he's surrounded by all four uh, on all four corners by def by defenders and there's and Ranta and he just gets it's pushed past it. Not really much you can do there, but it's at least good to know that we're uh, getting opportunities. Anyways, and not long. <laughs> Lazar also ends up going to the box for interference, and I gotta say, Curtis Lazar, Curtis, this was probably the best game I've ever seen Curtis Lazar play for the Boston Bruins. He played so so damn well. He oh well, well, he knew where he want, he knew where he needed to be. He knew not to engage, and it was just incredible. I loved I loved how Curtis Lazar played. Anyway, but uh, we I think we eventually kill the penalty and. Pretty much immediately after, uh, of who is it? It was, uh, it was Jordan Stahl is uh, has the puck at, uh, on the on the sideboards, and he he centers it to he centers it to Brett Pesci, uh, who just spin around who just spin aramas it into uh, in past Slavin. and so we we start out at a one uh, at a one zero deficit. Unfortunate. They don't like to see it. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, uh. But uh, not like. Uh, but a little bit later, uh, like immediately after after a face off, uh, 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 pasta, uh, pasta, pasta has the puck behind the net, and he just uh, slides it to Bergeron, and and. Uh, and Bergeron takes the puck and goes like, whoop, whoop, just puts, just, uh, just brings it back and and chips it up and in, and and you love to see those kinds of goals because it's like a because it's like a a two person wraparound, um, but a little bit cool, but a little bit more flashy, and 
Uh, and that ties up the uh, that ties up the game. We love we love to see that. Uh, not long, uh, but uh, near the end of the first period, near the end of the period, uh, Jordan Stahl goes for tripping uh, for hooking, and then uh, Taylor Hall goes for uh, tripping. Thing. So great, we had a we had a power play opportunity, and then we uh, and now we have to play uh, a minute forty of uh, of four on four. Uh, and it was. I don't like playing. I don't like it when that happens. When we're gifted a power play opportunity, especially a power play opportunity where the or the dude going to the box is one that is their best is power is their best penalty killer, and we have to then just say say well I guess we're on I guess we're even now. Oh, and then we get to the end of the first period where. Uh, where we get to the talk of hockey Twitter tonight, it, it, that being Tony D'Angelo making fun of Marsh, uh, Brad Marchand's big nose, and uh, Brad Marchand retaliating and calling uh, Tony D'Angelo a racist. List. Now, for those of you who don't know, Tony D'Angelo very much uh, uh, Tony D'Angelo is very much a Trump supporter and uh, 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 sort of buys into QAnon. And deleted his uh, deleted his Twitter in in protest of Trump being uh, of Trump being, being taken off Twitter and and vowed to go to parlor or uh, uh, yada 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 big Trump fan and admitted to using racial slurs on uh, on the ice so uh yeah it, it, yeah it's not it, it's not just some unfound it's not it's some unfounded and oh my God the SWWs are coming after me. And no, this is this is a dude that this is a dude that's actually fucking racist. Yes. So I don't want to hear you bitching about that. Yeah. Yeah. What what we're allowed to bitch about is that 30, 33 seconds into the first period, uh, Neil Neil Ryder uh, uh, goes behind the net and just uh, goes behind the net and just backhands it to. Uh, Jordan and just backhands the puck to Jordan Stahl, uh, not even freaking looking. And I don't even think he knew that uh, Stahl was there. I think he had a, like a vague idea that somebody uh, was like, "Fuck it, uh, fuck it, you." And uh, yeah, Stahl was there, and Stahl just uh, sells it and slaps it in, and to put the, to put the uh, to put the uh... sorry. To put the uh, to put the canes up uh, to one, and I was like, "Great, already, already." We're we're start we're starting out the second period like this. Yes, vintage Bruins. Yes. The second period starts, but we don't. What the hell is going on there? And it gets even worse. It gets even worse for the second uh, for the start of the second period. And Andre Svechnikov, Andre Svechnikov goes to her interference, and then like. 35 seconds later, er, Vincent Tro Vin Vinny Trocek goes for delay of game. If somebody takes a delay of game penalty on you, you have to you have to score on that. You cannot allow that penalty to go unpunished. It, unless you unless you are the Boston Bruins, in which case you just spend it you just spend a minute and a half putzing around the puck, like uh, coils coils in the coils in the corner doing absolutely nothing. And not even involved with any of the plays. Nobody's making any sort of movements uh, towards the uh, towards center ice. Anyways, so we do no nothing happens. Nothing happens. We get uh, we get nothing from that five on three, uh, uh, and they uh, and the Canes come out of it looking better. Uh, but it also feels like. Uh, but it also feels like, a, like at some point there's momentum shift. There's uh, there's uh, like the Bruins uh, are starting to do better and the Canes are starting to do worse. And it is uh, uh, like when TV Taravainen goes for uh, hooking and, and then Nino Niederreiter goes for tripping in uh, Craig Smith. Uh, the, the Hurricanes take seven consecutive penalties and all, it's so hilarious to, uh, to see, uh, to see Hurricanes fans complaining about refing when, uh, when uh, when game two happened, like shut like shut up, L literally shut up. You uh, you guys had 
you guys had one of the most uh, you guys had one of the most unfairly ref uh, ref games in your favor uh, uh, like less than a week ago uh, like half a week ago oh oh you can you can you're a lot uh, the only pe- <sighs> can't really I don't really know how to freaking describe it but uh, but eventually on uh, on that uh, on that Nino Niederreiter penalty, uh, DeBrusque, uh, Jake the Snake, uh, DeBrusque just uh, slithers his stick uh, right in between in in Brett Pesci, in Brady Shea, and Auntie Ranta, uh, and uh, and just pokes the puck uh, into the uh, into the net uh, 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 for a two for a two two game. And the Canes so desperately want this to be uh, to be goalie interference. Peter De, uh, fuck, not Peter DeBoer, not Peter Laviolette. Fucking Rod Brindamore. How did I fucking how did I mix that up? Uh, Rod Brindamore uh, so badly wants this to be a delay of uh, game. He even said that in the in the freaking press presser after the uh, game. Mm, he was talking. He was still talking about how. Uh, how oh, he was like oh, uh, Otamio was delay a game and shit like that. No, no, it wasn't. It wasn't delay of game. I mean, the brusque doesn't even touch Ranta until the puck is off his stick. Like, Ranta is uh, Ranta has so much time to uh, Ranta has time to get there. Uh, 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 really, if if anybody touches Ranta, it's Brady Shea. Brady Shea is the one that uh, touch uh, that. It touches on Tiranta. And if it's any and if anybody's pushing and if anybody's pushing freaking DeBrusque into him, it's it's Brady Shea. Like Brady. I am it makes me so happy to see uh, to see Kane's Twitter uh, uh, hating on their own players. Like uh, like uh, oh we don't want Brady uh, Brady Shea Brady Shea. Uh, there goes our cup run. And but yeah, we don't we don't get any. It's not goaltender interference, and as a result, uh, uh, the uh, 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 freaking Rod Brindamore uh, gets charged with delay of game, and they get uh, and they get what uh, someone in the box for it, and then, oh my freaking god! I used to like Seb- I like Sebastian Ajo. I, I genuinely think that Sebastian Ajo is the most uh, Sebastian Ajo and uh, I genuinely think that Sebastian Ajo and freaking and Andre Svechnikov are the two most entertaining players to uh, to watch on the Hurricanes. Sebastian Ajo, I want you to know what I want to know what the hell you were thinking here. And uh, and Brandon Moore, don't even try to de- to say like. Uh, uh, like uh, to put this on in uh, Bergeron, like I know you were you know, wanted to do. Oh, 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 Aho just smacked Bergeron in the eye so hard that it was, uh, uh, it looked like his eye was freaking opening up. It, uh, he had to get stitches in the uh, during during intermission, and his eye, his, uh, his eye was gushing blood. It was. It was freaking disgusting, and he gets out of it with a double minor. And I know that's the correct call. I know that's the correct call. Uh, but everybody wanted to major after eh, after Pasenak ran to eh, ran to Ranta. Everybody wanted to. Eh, everybody wants a major after blood is drawn. And eh, and and except for except for me, when eh, because there's no, there is no there is no reason. That there is still no reason that Forbert uh, deserved a five thousand dollar fine for that uh, high sticking against uh, against Steve Charvine. And, and again, I've I've cut my uh, I've drawn more blood shaving. I've drawn more blood shaving than he had. Grow the uh, grow a fucking pair. But with this, that's your fucking eye, dude. That is your eye. He gets four. He gets four minutes. It's, but the the crazy thing, mm, Bergeron still wants to play. Bergeron still wants to go out in the middle, mm, go out to play the last, 
to play the last 25 seconds of the second period. What a fucking maniac. What a warrior. What a goddamn warrior. I love Patrice Bergeron. Patrice Bergeron. And this, this is why I said that, like, of all players, I'm so happy that I got to, to grow up watching. Bergeron is number one. Bergeron is number one. Best favorite player that I got to, that I got to grow up watching. And the best part is that he's back out playing this playing in the third period. Good. 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 And what's even better, Marshan with one second left on on Niederreiter's penalty, he gets a delivers an absolute bomb off the top of the faceoff circles uh, uh, to put the Bruins up three two. And then there's like a massive debate over the past uh, over the next five minutes. It is like, oh, was it uh, uh, was it after? The penalty resolved, or was it before the penalty resolved? Oh, no, it was before the penalty resolved. Oh, we have two minutes, fifty-three seconds of uh, of Sebastian Ajo's uh, uh, his penalty. Uh, that uh, and I mean, we don't we don't really do anything with it, especially when when Grizzly gets his two in the box for his own own high sticking penalty. But let's let's be fair. That was hooking. That, that was hooking. That was a hooking penalty, but they they want that was a hooking penalty. They incorrectly called it high sticking. I know they meant hooking. I know I know they wanted to call oh, Boston for something because they uh, because they're like, eh, yeah, we can't really uh, if we call everything for Carolina, that's gonna you know, look really bad. But also it's but also uh, but also what Grizzlick did was completely textbook uh, hooking. It was just. Uh, he was wrapping him. It, it almost looked like it almost looked like he was completely wrapping it up, wrapping him up. up, up. Four on four dies. Is our penalty die? Is is and then I think off of facing. Uh, I think off of face uh, an icing face off. Uh, Marshan just takes the puck uh, after the stalemate. It finds Pasta just just lazily skating backwards. It's across the crease, and it's like, hello there. Hello there, General Kenobi. 4-2 Bruins. I don't think I've ever seen in a goal as... Uh, oh, I don't think I've ever seen a goal on a goalie that can be... Uh, that is, has been made to look as effortless as that. It, look, it, it looked like Pasta could have just... Uh, it could have just slept and he and he could have made it but like and obviously tony d'angelo is not happy tonight and he wants to beat the piss out of someone so he just cross checks curtis lazar in the face he's i mean the penalty resolves that's really comes of it it four f150 final five canes pull ronto with three minutes 48 seconds left if there's freaking four minutes on the clock, uh, Rod, what are you doing? And then we get, and we get the, the Tony D'Angelo, you are a fucking infant. And, and he so badly want, he is so, so unhappy with everything that he just throws his stick at Marshan trying to stop the empty netter. Or, or, and it it obviously doesn't it doesn't work. And even if it did work, they the refs are legally allowed to to award a goal if a uh, if something like that happened. If, uh, if if what would have been an empty net goal uh, like that actually happens, and, and if somebody throws a stick and uh, and it just uh, and it stops the uh, it stops the travel of the puck. I think Cockney, I think Yasperi Kokaniemi, he just slams his stick on the uh, on the empty net. I cannot stop laughing at it. I can't stop laughing. Just, just you throw that this the hurricane, the hurricanes fandom is just so so spoiled. Well, I know, I know, rich coming from a Bruins fan, but like, get a fucking grip. Yeah. I know that it hurts to have Martian 
Uh, I know that it hurts to be the recipient of uh, of the first ever uh, five point playoff game game from Brad Marchand, but just get over yourself, please. Just get over yourself. Oh, so the Bruins won five two, and and all we can hope for is that next game since we're since we're back in Carolina, we at least eh, let's hope that we can at least keep this momentum and we can hope uh, Lindholm was seen skating with the uh, with the Bruins today let's hope that uh, he can come back because I didn't like listening to I didn't like hearing about Josh Brown did you did you like hearing about Josh Brown leave a comment in the comment box below telling me if you like hearing about Josh Brown on um, during this game hey I'm going to take a wager and say that you didn't I didn't either. Mm. Mm. But uh, uh, also Bergeron, my my blood eyes white dragon. Mm. Please, I hope I hope that I hope that stitch heals up uh, well. Well, and just thank you all so much for watching. Quick like if you like, click subscribe if you like. Down below is the tick is my TikTok, my go the GoFundMe for Jake Tebow's recovery, and the GoFundMe for for a trans family leaving in Texas. And I will see you all on Tuesday. Have a good night, everybody.